Okay guys, this video, I just want to warn you in advance, this video will be wonky because I have left my tripod in the car and I completely forgot about doing this product review here. I'm actually in the middle of a forest, so if you hear any random noises around you, you know it's probably a bunch of animals making noise, like for example, the clicking noise. But this video will be a little wonky because I am holding my little camera here as steady as possible and I've activated the image stabilization. So here we go. I'm also going to try and make this review as quick as possible because I really need to get back to work on photographing for my photo project. But it's going to be on this product right here. Oh, and by the way, if you hear any engines, that's probably a car rolling past. But this is going to be a review on this product here. This is the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Cleanser. You can find this at various stores, I believe. Walmart, Target, Publix, uh, Walgreens. I think even Ulta Beauty has this. And it's available for somewhere around, I believe, $4.76 to $6.79 based on the information that I've researched um, online. Now, I actually purchased this particular cleanser at my campus bookstore for around nine to $10, which I would strongly recommend that you do not do because most of the stuff that is um, purchased over there, most of the stuff that's even sold over there, your usual campus or university bookstore tends to be very overpriced. So just don't buy from there. That was one of my first mistakes with this. But to be honest, I purchased this product because I got tired of using my soap bars to wash my face since I have oily skin. So I decided to take a bit of a break and I just got this instead. As you can see, I've used it a bit. Um, I'll get to how much you use in a moment here. But to be honest, this is a really, really good cleanser here. It gets my face nice and clean. A little goes a long way. You only need about maybe a pump to maybe half a pump. And that's usually about... A quarter size to about nearly ha a half dollar size for me a quarter size is more than enough and I'm talking maybe three quarters of a pump if that makes any sense like you don't push the pump all the way down but this works very well the beads do burst on contact and it cleans my ferrets very well the only complaint would be that since this cleanser has a sulfate in it um, I recommend that if you're going to use something like this, you better have your facial moisturizer or your facial serum on hand. If you use a facial toner, you can have that on hand too, but I highly recommend that you have a facial moisturizer on hand after you use this because as soon as you're done using this and you neglect to put on your facial moisturizer, your skin will automatically dry out. I've had this happen to me maybe twice now and it is not a good feeling, especially since I have oily skin and my face tends to reproduce oil. Hi, how are you? Sorry about that, I'm just recording something. Um, sorry guys, somebody's just walking past. But um, yeah, if you do not use this cleanser if you don't use a facial moisturizer and you use this cleanser and the instant you dry off your face and you neglect to moisturize your face afterwards your face will dry out very fast since this stuff has a sulfate in it so to combat this i mostly use my diy facial serum which i will be doing a video on in the future here so just be on the lookout for that but this is pretty much all I have. And that's the only warning I have to say about this cleanser. There's not much I want to say. I say it's a really good cleanser for people who don't know how to, haven't started a facial care regimen and are kind of looking around for where to start. I say this would be a good beginner's cleanser to start with until you figure out the type, type of skin that you have on your face. So there's that. It's also good for teenagers since I see a lot of teens using this too. But that's pretty much all I have to say about this product here. If you've used it before, let me know in the comments below. And like I said, I do apologize if this video is a little wonky. And also, I haven't seen any comments for the giveaway here, guys. You still have another week left until at least, um, I would say, Friday of this week. That's when the giveaway ends. I'm not seeing any comments on there, so I'm getting a little bit worried here. But... I just want to let you know that the giveaway is still going on until Friday. So if you still want to participate, please make sure that you get your comments in. So thank you guys, and I will see you in the next video here, okay? Bye-bye.